I'm Ayman, and welcome back to one of my product showcase videos. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impression of this Alugu 20 watt laser cutter. So I'm going to get right to it. I just ordered it two days ago, and we got Amazon. I bought the uh, second package, which is the right now it's $320. So it's the laser cutter itself and uh, five filters. And the basic package is $300 and the package with the rotary engraver is $400 right now. There's also a 10 watt option that is a, uh, is a $200 and then 220 and, and 300 for their respective packages. And I also bought a bed to go with it, a honeycomb bed. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna laser cut something straight on a, a surface. So the actual honeycomb bed is generic. I just bought one that was like $25, $30. Because um, it doesn't really matter what brand it is, because at the end of the day, it's just a, a shoot of material. Um, the actual hardware isn't as important. So, the model is called the Fecta, as it says here. Um, looks like it came pretty okay. I asked them to ship it in... Uh, Okay, there we go. And here's how it looks like on the outside. You can tell, you know, of course it's a, it's a Chinese company, has Chinese um, labels. It says it's a 20 watt laser. Looks like this is 17 out of 150 in the shipment. And uh, that's pretty much it for the box. Uh, the reason I got this is because um, I'm trying to experiment with more of being a maker and making my own stuff. And growing up, I was very fascinated with making things out of cardboard. Um, and I have many videos on my channel that, if you're interested, show me actually making things out of cardboard by cutting, cutting them using scissors. Um, and you know, that was fun growing up. But when you get old, it becomes kind of a pain to keep using your joints and everything to, to cut to cut cardboard. So instead, I decided to get a laser cutter to make everything easier because while I was at Harvard, I worked in the makerspace um, as a maker fellow and I got very acquainted with using their laser cutters. And that's what convinced me, like there's so many possibilities of things that you can do with laser cutters that make it so much easier than if, if you had to do things manually. Okay, so now let's get a reveal. If we take off this top layer, this is what we get a look at. So this part, so a laser cutter is, you know, built on, it's, it's a gantry. So it comes disassembled and you assemble it. And it's just like a rectangular frame with a few belts and stuff. It moves in the X and Y direction. So we have our manual here, our warranty card. Looks like this is one of the uh, axes with the motor. Looks like this is a, another motor. Okay. I might just have to do a separate video on how to install it because this isn't very plug and play. I mean, for a lot of people who do DIY things, like this is pretty familiar. You'll see a lot of things that are built out of gantries or just gantries. Um, but it's, it's definitely a bit more uh, involved than uh, I remember the Ender 3 3D printer I got before. Okay, so I'll take a look at the instruction manual on how to use it. Um, but that's what the, uh, the printer looks like, sorry, the laser cutter looks like coming out of the box. We also get a USB, USB B cable, I believe. And this is for the air filter, I think. Let's see what else we get in here. I'm gonna just take out random stuff. You get a, these are the feet of the cutter. I believe these are either adjustable or they're meant to raise the printer if you're cutting thicker material. Um, these are some, um, not sure if they're UV glasses, but they're uh, glasses meant for your protection so that you don't get burned by the, by the laser. Um, this looks like it's the uh, console on the front, you know, with the screen. 
I'll just put these back and then when we do the assembly video then we can uh, do that separately. Oh, more feet, I guess. Interesting. Here's the power supply cable. From here. This is, this is also supposed to come with a uh, another um, screen that protects the against the light, which I think might be this. There's like a another filter. In addition to the glasses, there's also like a filter in front of the laser. Supposedly, I hope I think that's either that or probably another piece we'll see in there. Okay. Yep, another axis. Might not be the proper term, but you know what I mean. I believe this is the air filter that goes on top. Oh, no, oh, this is the actual uh, laser, I believe, since it comes out here. No, I think this is the air filter because it has a, a hose coming out. I'll correct it in the video. So here's a few test pieces and uh, all the hardware you need to fasten everything together. So they give you, um, of course, the screws and the screwdrivers, but they also give you scrap um, leather. And uh, there's a piece a, of metal, there's a, a dog tag. So you can't actually cut the metal, but you can engrave it. This is a, a SD card converter so that you can plug it in for a USB. I think this is a cover that will probably go on one of these uh, pieces. And then lastly, a piece of uh, craft wood for cutting samples. I remember seeing a air filter that's supposed to go on top of the laser cutter. I think this is the air filter actually. And this is the cutter. And then I'm not sure what this is yet, but when we read the instruction manual, we'll see. Okay. Well the reason I'm doing this is so that when people first get this machine, they can see did they get all the parts? Because um, that's a fear I have when I'm opening products and some, some, sometimes uh, there's things that are just not in the box. Lastly, there's the power brick. And I believe that's everything that's in the box. While we're here, we'll also take a look on the side to my honeycomb bed. So this is just met, like a sheet of metal or not really a sheet but it's a flat metal bed with a lot of holes in it. It's raised off the ground and it's made out of metal so that it doesn't damage whatever surface you're cutting on top of. Okay. I guess I just gotta slide it out. Also supposed to come with like, like, uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but they keep your your material down. You know, they they go in from the top. They keep it so it's flat. And then these are um, pads that you can stick onto the uh, bottom of the the, uh, the bed so it doesn't scratch the bottom of the surface. Okay, so here we have another sheet of metal. This is going to go on the underside of the bed. And then here's the actual bed itself. It's 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters, or about 16 inches by 16 inches. And it's pretty standard. You can see that it has measurements on both sides, both inches and millimeters. And it seems like it goes 14 inches in the actual bed and 330 millimeters on the actual bed. So all the, the dimensions of it are about 16 inches. The actual part it covers is about 14 inches. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I want to do this video just to show you guys what I'm up to. 
and uh, also to give you an idea of what the box looks like when you open it. Alright, so I'm Edmund. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I Edmund. Check out that assembly video on the, uh, the laser cutter, and I'll see you there. So for now, I'm Edmund, and signing out. Peace.